What's up, everybody? Welcome to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, the finals. On our left, we have. Oh, first of all, my name is Josh Squeaky Markin. For those who do, do not know, and our left we have Alex Mitchell from the Murfreesboro area. And our right we have Travis Nunlist from the Indiana area. I'm not really sure what part of Indiana. My bad friend, because I don't know exactly which part. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to have a ourselves a, a good old Seismitoad Manetric mirror match going on here. Uh, for those who don't know, or if you don't watch previous videos, we know that Alex doesn't play any muscle bands. He just plays like multiple head ringers, and that's how he's been winning the games. He's been head ringing all his opponents. Seems to work out in his favor. Here we see, uh, so Alex starts, oh, pretty strong. Okay, let's see, double sized toad, manetric toad, drops double float stones. That just makes it so he can't get head ringered, or any of his toads can get head ringered. He knows that, uh, <coughs> Travis does play the head ringers. So, for those who don't know, both stones get Pokemon free retreat. So pretty nice to uh, drop them early. You can free retreat your own Pokemon. So of course, uh, <clears throat> Alex just passed turn one. He didn't get any energy. It was kind of bad. He did have a support of that turn. But uh, on a Travis turn, he drops the energy to Manetric, Furbank, Headringer's the Toad makes it harder for the Toad to attack. For those who don't know, Headringer makes it cost one more energy to attack, one more colors energy to be exact. And then we see an end from Travis. Uh, for this, okay, first of all, first Sycamore, discard your hand and draw seven cards. In makes it where each player shuffles their hand into the deck, draw six cards. But on to the match, uh, Alex from the Murfreesboro area, I hope I'm saying it, I think it's Alex, I'm 99% sure. He's from the Murfreesboro area, Murfreesboro. So it'd be pretty nice if he could win, pull out a win for his city. Uh, Travis, of course, hasn't won a cities yet, ever, supposedly, and this is like his ninth finals appearance. Not, not in this season, just all together. So, so we see a muscle man going to the uh, Manetric GX. Uh, muscle man does 20 more damage. We see an Ultra Ball, but Travis doesn't. Okay, so Alex, I mean, Travis Ultra Ball is away. An Ultra Ball and a Zerosic Full Art. So Ultra Ball, just cartoon cards, and draw in, get any Pokemon from your deck you want to and put it in your hand. Uh, we see Travis get a Seismic Stone here. And for those that don't know, Zerosic, you can discard a tool and or special energy anywhere in place. So you can discard your own tools, own special energies. I have discarded my own tool before when I was playing Frieza and Genesect, so it's a very nice card. And we see Overrun, which does 20 to each Pokemon. The trouble should have 40 because of the Muscle Band. Uh, hopefully they'll catch that, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, the Destiny Machine, discard two cards from your hand and pick any card from the discard pile. So the only card Alex has is a Sycamore. Maybe he just wants to go like Aggro Sycamore. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so on to Alex's turn, we see him. Drop a toad, dash machine the two ends for a sycamore. We see Hypnotic Laser, flip a tails, Hypnotic Laser, flip a coin of heads. The defending Pokemon is poisoned and asleep, and if tails, it's just a, uh, just poisoned. So we see a sycamore discarding an N and a switch. I'm pretty sure that's three ends that turn, which might kind of hurt him in the end because he do, he'll, might be supportless. We'll see what happens. Uh, Alex kind of needs a, a DC in this turn really bad to uh, push pressure on Travis, make him where he can't quick and punch him. Or where he can't place items. We'll see what happens. We know that Travis does have a side stone in hand, so he's not gonna get donked this turn or donked next turn. Travis will have a Pokemon to put down. So we see an Ultra Ball from Alex, discarding a Colrus and a Headringer. Maybe he wants to get it. Oh, he wants to get a Mega Manetric. Oh, that's a a Spirit Link on the Manetric. I thought it was a uh, Floodstone on him. I'm sorry. Guess that makes more sense since he's part of the Manetric EX now. And. We are just going to see a pass from uh, from uh, Alex, and we see that Travis does catch the muscle band math, the 20 plus thing, plus 20 more, so that's, that's good. And so we just see pass the uh, Manetric tech starting for the Verbink and Laser. So on a Travis turn, we see him drop the size of Toad. He doesn't want to get dunked, or not dunked, he doesn't get knocked out, and not have any Pokemon left. And we see it in from Travis. Each player shuffles his hand, draws six cards. Nobody's seen a prize yet, it's brand new. It's kind of a newish game. Uh, this, this game's going to be kind of weird because Travis does have the muscle bands, so he does get the extra damage from that way. But then Alex does play the one Manetric EX, so it's a little bit harder for Travis to uh, knock out the uh, Manetric EX. But we saw it was in the top four game against me and Travis. It wasn't that hard to still knock out a uh, Manetric EX. So here we see a switch, which uh, basically you just switch the active with the bench. And we see a muscle band DC, so... 
Travis having a really, really good turn. The uh, Muscle Band side switch is going to knock out this Travis. It's going to do 50 total. Now Alex is not going to be play be able to play Trainer cards, which is kind of bad because he needs to get Lightning in the in, in the discard to start powering up a uh, Turbo Bolt. And we see him sitting in the side switch. It has free retreat because the floats not very nice. So let's see here. I see a DC in his hand. The question is, does he want to put it on that size turn or not? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, we see him dropping Manetric EX. There's a DC. So maybe he's going to go the Quake and Punch. Quake and Punch route. <coughs> you know I say Quack and Punch. Makes my frame really mad. So we see a Sycamore discarding a uh, Lightning. Uh, I'm going to tell what else. Travis picked it up too quick. Travis fan out for us. Show us what he what he dropped. Or, guess not. Alright. So we know he's down. Two or three sycamores and three ends, maybe. On oh, Alex's turn. So we see this quick punch from uh, Alex. And then we see a quick, quick punch from Travis. So, kind of a fast turn. Maybe Travis doesn't really have anything. Uh, we see another quick punch from Alex. On oh, a Travis turn. We see a Pokemon Sinner Lady, which, for those who don't know, Pokemon Sinner Lady heals 60 and remove all status conditions from your Pokemon. And we see another quick punch, bringing up to. Uh, 120. <clears throat> Next turn, if Travis has a uh, another energy, he can. I think. Well, it depends if that's a miniature key. I think the miniature key on the bench has two energies. He can attach another electric energy and retreat and knock out with the miniature key on the bench, because it will do 120 damage for a salt laser. But I think we're just gonna see another quick punch from Alex. So yeah, just another quick punch. And on Travis' turn, he did top deck a sycamore, so that's very nice. Tell me, it's kind of. <laughs> kind of boring. It's kind of who gets the muscle band laser down first kind of thing. So we see a Drifloon, which is going to make a big deal in this game because uh, each player is playing a lot of special energies. Well, Alex is playing much special energies. And Drifloon involves a Drift Bloom, which does 50 times as many special energies in the opponent's discard pile. It's very nice. So here we see another quick punch from Travis, bringing it to 170. Now, here's the problem with that 170 is. Uh, Travis will be able to overrun it and put 20 damage on it to do a knockout whenever he wants to. Which is kind of important. Kind of like some sniper for a pre free prize. I think Alex is noticing this too. Because if he treats the Toad, Travis has a way to like spread damage around. But it doesn't seem like it matters. Travis is going to last in with that Toad and start putting more damage on there. Now there's kind of no way for Alex to retreat this Toad. It has a three retreat cross, so you can't even attach a DC to retreat. He's going to have to at least attach a Lightning for the, at least one turn and then commit a DC in the next turn. But we'll see him put on Lightning on the Mega Manetric. Or maybe not. Oh, that's a, well, maybe that was a Lightning in here, I couldn't tell. I don't know, like I said, this uh, game's kind of boring. Not a sign. Okay, so we see a DC going to the Manetric EX. Like, yeah, Travis doesn't really have any supporters, but he doesn't really need any. But now he can finally play his items. He is not toad locked anymore. So he's going to first secret this roast to get rid of the DC off the Mega Manetric EX. Let's see, does he have anything else? If you haven't kept up with the past games, uh, we are playing an arcade kind of place. It kind of looks like a grown up Chuck E. Cheese kind of thing. It has like ski ball and basketball games and go karts. Uh, in the background, the Wizard of Oz theme song keeps going off in my ears. I know all the players were super excited to listen to that all day here in the wonderful Wizard of Oz in the Yellow Brick Road. So, you can ask anybody who went there. You can ask Travis, you know, Alex, we know either one of those. Uh, Mike Newman, Andrew Ramey were also there. More Tennessee people, if you know any Tennessee people, were, were there also listening to it. <laughs> Alright, so on to Alex's turn. Uh, so we just need another quick punch from Travis, bringing the toad to 100. So Alex's turn, he drops a uh, lightning energy into the Mega Manetric, and he just Mega Evolves in his turn. For those of you who don't know, when you Mega Evolve and there's not a Spirit Link on the Manetric, you do it in your turn. Well, it has to be a, a Manetric Spirit Link. I guess if you wanted to be funny, you could be like, well, what if I had a Gengar Spirit Link? Obviously, you have to have a Manetric Spirit Link on the Manetric to skip the ending of the turn. So we see an Ultra Ball, oh not Ultra Ball, a Computer Surgeon Travis discarding an Ultra Ball and an N, and we see him get an Enhanced Hammer, discarding the DC. Basically Travis is trying to like, set him down in turns, 
he gets enough DCs in the discard pile, maybe he'll be able to one shot up with the Drift Bloom. But he'll need four DCs in discard. I know right now there's two, maybe three. I know for sure two. So let's see what happens to Travis. I think he's just gonna quake a punch again. Or he could Zerosic again to discard the DC off the Seismitoad. He's putting three in the discard. Oh, Pokemon Center Lady. Very nice. So basically, he's just resetting this Toad back to zero. Now we see another quick Punch for our 50 damage. Bringing the Toad up to 150. It's going to get knocked out next turn. And we're off to see the Wizard once again. Alright, so on Alex's turn, we see him drop a DCE onto the Seismic Toad. And just a pass. He can't retreat. Like I said, he's a 3 retreat cost. And under Toad Lock, you can't really retreat. Travis' turn, he attaches a Lightning Energy to the Drift Bloom. Setting up a Drift Bloom for the... Well, I guess not next turn, but whenever he needs it. We see a Jirachi. For those who don't know, Jirachi lets you search your deck for any supporter card to put in your hand. It's very nice. You get an Ultra Ball basically for a supporter, whatever need be. And Travis gets a Colrus. Colrus lets you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw as many cards as there is bench Pokemon to play. I'm getting better at saying this. So we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 on each side. And Travis drops another Enhanced Hammer. So that's 2 Enhanced Hammer, 3 DC in the discard pile. There goes a Headringer onto the Manetric EX. Make it acquire one more energy to attack. The Drifloom evolves into Drifloom. So right now that Drifloom's doing 150. And if I didn't say a Drifloom does 50 times as many special energies in this card. So right now it does 150 because there's 3 DCE in the discard pile. If Travis can, if Travis can knock off the 4th uh, DCE, all he has to do is slap a Muscle Band on that Drifloom. And it can start swinging for 220. So we see a quick punch from Travis knocking out that tote. And Travis goes up three to six. So on to Alex's turn. I think that tote has okay. Well either way the uh Manetric EX Mega Manetrics do have free retreat cost. So it doesn't matter if you send with the toad or the and or the Mega Manetric. So So I guess he retreated and did yeah, so he treated the Mega Manetric and did Quake a Punch for 30. Basically, Alex saying, like, yeah, I know this Toad's going to die. There's no point of, like, kind of retreating. I don't... Maybe I want to see the pressure, like, see pressure doing 110. Forcing Travis to retreat the uh, Toad. But he received just another Quake a Punch for 30. The problem is here, like I said earlier, all Travis needs next turn is a Muscle Band on that Drift Blum. And he can one-shot that Manega, Mega Manetric for knockout. He can also knock out any regular EX if he wants to. So here we see an end from Alex. Uh, so Alex will get six. I think there's six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six left in Alex. One for Travis. Setting Travis down to one card. Uh, as we saw for the first game, Travis doesn't play bikes or anything. So this one card kind of has to matter. Maybe he'll top deck a Sycamore. Not too, not too crazy. So what did Alex get? Doesn't matter what EX, he he just really Alex can't attack with the regular EXs because once he does, all Travis has to do is send the Jiplum and knock out whichever Pokemon he wants, or he can knock out whatever he wants to. So let's see, did Travis get a first seeker and or a Sycamore or a Colrus? Something to discard his hand and draw a lot of cards. Doesn't seem like it looks like he's just gonna quake a bunch. But either way, Travis all Travis has to do next turn is just retreat the toad. And knock out with Drip Bloom, because that Drip Bloom is going to do 200 damage. So you'll set up Mega Manetric, and it's going to take a, its first two prizes. Because that Mega Manetric does 110 damage. So let's see here. Does Travis have a Lysander, maybe? And or a Muscle Band? Either one of those combinations. Even a Laser would do it, too, for next turn. Seems like Alex is just in a really bad position. So we see a Sycamore from Alex, discard a bunch of stuff. I think I see I was a Rosic in there. It's the only kind of weird tech you really need to see. I'm trying my best to pay attention. So we see a Turbo Bolt for 110. Uh, if he has the energies, he has to attach them somewhere. So yeah, Travis just pointed that out. You have to attach the energy somewhere. So Alex has like two cards left in his deck also too. But that shouldn't matter that much. As long as Travis can like top deck something. Top deck a muscle band or a laser and he got it. So Travis is gonna send the uh fresh Manetric X. 
Ministry Gaze only has a one retreat cost, so it's not that bad. Just hit the up active. So there's a laser. Like I said, so switch, laser, shadow steel for 230 damage. And that'll be the game. So Travis takes game one uh, pretty fast. Basically, Alex couldn't hit. Oh, he didn't, he didn't hit any energies, I think. I don't know. I just remember Alex didn't really attack the beginning of the game. I can't remember why that was. Sorry, I'm kind of. I'm already brain dead. <laughs> uh, so, like I've said earlier, Travis hasn't won his cities yet, but he's made it to the finals like eight or nine times. So, Travis just turned around and told Mike that he uh, made it to the finals. So, now I'm like, Mike and Angel Ramey are to come over and watch the games to see what happens. It's an exciting time in Travis's uh, Pokemon career life. But, like I said, I hope uh, Alex can pull out the next two games and win. If he can do that, bring home the win from Murfreesboro. I'd rather see a, a hometown person win. Sorry, Travis. It's just cool what's from the known hometown win. We know yes, uh, not yesterday, but the uh, the day before in Franklin, Jacob Hope won, and he was from Kentucky. So boo, no hometown person won. But in the final was Jacob versus Travis. So neither one were hometown. I guess uh, in the grand scheme of things, Jacob was the closer one. So it's good that way. Uh, once again, I want to thank Rick Mitchell for hosting the event. Uh, for those who weren't there, you kind of missed out a fun day playing basketball against Rick, playing ski ball, and everything. I don't know. Fun way to kill time between rounds. I know Rick wanted to challenge like all the Pokemon players in basketball. And your boy, Squeaky, beat Rick in basketball. You can ask him. We tied at the first game, but he wanted the rematch. And I smoked him. He said he, it's because he was, hasn't uh, played in a while, but... Rick, I haven't played in a long time either, so we're both kind of the same boat. We're both rusty. I guess I was the better rusty player in basketball for the day. But uh, on a game two, this is best two out of three. So Alex will hopefully go first. There's no real downside of not going first, really. I see like the only time I see people going not go first, like night march people to try to get like a dunk. <clears throat> Their turn one, but uh, that's a different story. We'll talk about that if it ever comes up. So we're seeing a mulligan from Alex. Uh, for those who don't know, when your opponent mulligans, you can draw one extra card. And we see Travis put a dice on top of the deck, basically just signifying that you draw one more card off the off yeah uh, because of the mulligan. And you don't draw the cards till after your opponent places down his prize cards. It's a newer rule. Some players don't understand it. I don't understand why. Don't see how it benefits either player by not drawing it automatically. So we see Alex. Uh, I think he has a Manectric GX in his hand. I'm not sure if he has anything else. Alright. So there we go. Sets up six. Travis is doing from Mulligan. Alright, and here we see game two. Hopefully, we'll have a better start. We see a double Manectric start. Holy cow. Too bad neither one's uh, holographic. Not holographic. Uh, full art. We do know Alex does play as a full art Mewtwo. It'd be kind of nice if uh, he... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Travis just thought that Alex just douse machine. He's like, you can't douse machine. There's nothing to discard pile. And he's like, I'm ultra balling. So, but like I was saying, uh, Alex does have the full art toes and full art mutus. It'd be nice if he had the full art Manetrix. I know the set just came out, so I understand why he doesn't have any. So we see Alex uh, full still on the Manetrix DC on the toad. So he already has one DC in the discard pile, which we saw the drift from last game take the last two prizes or the last prize. We see a head ringer going to the Manetric EX. Then we see a floatstone protecting the toe, basically saying you can't head ringer unless you have Zerosic. And we see a pass Malix. Uh, I mean, not much you want to can do really turn one. Can attack, so. You usually just pass turn one. But I mean, you have no option anymore. So we see an Ultra Ball from Travis discarding the Pokemon Center Lady and Lysander. Uh, the good thing about Travis' deck, I think he plays like three, maybe four Verse Seeker. So whenever he needs to, he can always like fish out those techie supporters, which is why I love Verse Seeker nowadays. It's probably my favorite item card currently. The only bad thing is when you play against Toad and you can't do anything. So Travis is looking through his deck, seeing what's all disc oh, what's prized and everything. I think I heard him say awesome, so maybe that's a sign that Jirachi's pressed. I don't know. It's always it's always hard to tell what Travis wants. He can be in a bad situation, still be giggling and smiling. That's what I like about Travis. We're kind of in the same situation. No matter what happens, it's hard to tell what's going on. So, 
Let's see what Travis has now. All right. So he's got a laser. Let's see what he flips. He flips heads, so that Manetric EX is asleep and poisoned. So we see Sycamore discarding an, <laughs> an end, Sycamore, and something else. Look, maybe a laser. It had a purple border. It could be a colors. I'm not exactly sure. Did he get a switch DCE? Is the question. So we see a lot of energy. Not what he wanted because he can't assault laser because the headringer makes it makes it where you have to have one more colors energy to attack. So headringer seven Alex from a turn. Here we see Travis with the first seeker early, just case. Well, not just case, but he's basically saying, "Look, if you." Uh, Quake punch me and I can't play items. I'm going to protect myself and have a supporter for next turn. So here we see just a pass from Travis. I like I said, he can't attack because the head ringer. Uh, the Manetric EX takes 30. And we see a tail. So that Manetric EX is still asleep. He does have the Manetric EX in his hand, but the problem is that Manetric EX has a fluster on it, so it's going to end his turn. So. But it does get rid of the poison, so it just, that's kind of nice too. So the Travis turn, we see him drop a muscle band to the toad, saying, "Hey, you're not gonna head ringer this guy today." We see an ultra ball discarding Lysen and Drifblum. We know this last card is a Sycamore, so kind of nice. There we see a Drifloon. Maybe he has the other Drifloon in his deck. I'm 99 percent sure he does. Why would he discard the Drifloon and then not? Or maybe he get out of surprises later. I don't know. A lot of options could happen. So we see a Sycamore for 7. Uh, he puts give us to the high five. What's one of guys? So we see the Drifloom in his hand and the Jirashi. Don't know why he's got awesome when he uh, will turn 1. Maybe he's just excited because he had everything was in his deck. I don't know. Here we see a treat from Travis. And we're going to see a Quake Punch for 50. Bringing up the big bag Manetra GX to 80. But next turn, Alex can attack with the bench. Size my if need be. So Alex draws it to a head ringer. Not very helpful now since he's been item locked. See a DC go on the Manetra EX. Just trying to get ready for a, uh, a turbo bolt if need be. We see a Sycamore in his hand, which is. Uh, it kind of stinks because he's going to discard a bunch of stuff, but he can't really play any items. So we see an N Verbank questionable card and a head ringer. It's always hard to tell when a card is on top of the other. If I had to guess, it'd be a supporter. So we see uh, Alex drop a side to a Manetric, and we're going to see him do a Quack and Punch for a whole 30 damage. Now on the Travis turn. Sorry if it's still so funny, guys. I'm still trying to get over a cold. I got after the marathon. So on the Travis turn, uh, <coughs> we see him evolve the Drifloon. Drifloon, attach the Lightning Energy, just saying, hey, I'm going to attack with this big boy whenever I need to. And then we see, oh, an end. Okay, sweet. It's always hard to tell who's up in these games just because Toad do quite a bunch. Uh, if I had to put it in favor right now, I'll put it in Travis just because he has a muscle band on the Toad. So he's going to be able to do 50 while Alex is only going to be able to do 30. Let's see. I see the Zerox's. Is, I think I see a Zerosic and Travis in. So next turn he gets Zerosic and DCE off too. That'd be very nice. So we see another just quack and punch. Basically just punching each other. Both players can play item cards. Not only Alex turned, he attaches the lightning energy to the bench, Manetra GX. I mean, I think he has a Lysander saying, why else would he be? Yeah, so Lysander saying, bring it up the toad, saying, if I quick and punch you, you can't retaliate with a quick and punch, I'm going to play my items next turn. Which is kind of nice. I see this happen a lot at the toad mirror. Basically, just saying, you know, you're going to have to find a way to get a, well, a DC, because it can't be a switch. Toad has three tree costs. So we see a zero stick discarding the size of Toad EX on the active's DCE. Electric energy going to the Manetric EX. And we just see a pass, because Travis already played Zero Stick for the turn. So we see we see Alex top deck the Zero Stick. The question is, is the Zero Stick even worth it? Here's Alex trying to see what's what's on his Manetric EX, which we see a lightning and a DC. I don't think he has any lightning energies in this card right now currently. But he can play trainers this turn if need be. I don't know if it's uh well he doesn't have anything. He has an in a floatstone, Zerosic, Mega Min that's a I think it's a Manetric Spear Link if I saw correctly. So all his Pokemon are getting uh tools right now saying Travis your head is not gonna work this game. We'll make them dead cards in your head. Uh, I like energy going to the Manetric EX. 
There we see a Zerosic discarding Travis's DC. Here we see Retreat, and we're probably to see a Turbo Bolt for 110. Uh, like I said, I don't think Alex has any energies in this card pile. He's just double checking. Travis is double checking. And it's on Travis' turn. Oh, see, top deck's a DCE. Very nice. But now Travis can play uh, item cards. So we see Enhanced Hammer. Discarded the DC off the active. Minetra Gex. Uh, once again, those who don't know, Enhanced Hammer, discard special energy in play. Or any special energy to play. So Travis played Computer Search, discarding a DCE and a Drift Loan. Uh, Computer Search lets you grab any one card in your deck, and you don't have to reveal it to your opponent, you can keep it a secret. Most of the time you play straight away, so... Your opponent usually sees what it is. Or if you can save it for next turn. <clears throat> but, I feel like 90% of the time you're using the Computer Search card straight away. So... Let's see, what does Travis want to get? Get like a laser, maybe? Or a lightning? It looks like maybe if you're trying to get debating the lightning energy or something. What is he counting? He's counting something. He either get a switch or a DC. I think it's a DC. Maybe he just flashed to the front. Yeah, DC. So maybe he wants to quake and punch him. Alex doesn't have any energies or any. Since he did hand hammer, there's no way Travis can or Alex can't attack next turn unless he attaches another energy. So a laser. Heads. And a sycamore. So drop seven. Now Travis needs a switch. And an energy to at least. Oh, that's still not. Yeah, it should be a knockout. Wait, maybe. 20, 150. Yeah. So it would be a knockout if Travis has a switch in the energy. Because then he gets Soul Laser for knockout. But we just see a pass. And the Metric EX does wake up. I think he took the, the damage. I'm not 100% sure. But we see a Lightning Energy go into the Metric EX. Uh, he retreats to Mega Metric EX. And we see an end. Uh, Travis with they both get six. Neither one's taking a knockout yet. But I'm not percent sure Alex will take his first knockout this turn. So let's see, 12, 13, 14. The tide toes at 140. Just a simple assault laser for 60 knocks it out. So let's see, they both get six, and they both can't play their item cards this turn. So it'll be interesting to see if Alex plays all his item cards while he can or not. Also, that Drift of the Bench is getting pretty powerful. Right now, there's currently two DCs in discard, if I remember correctly. So, we see a Headringer from Alex. Put it on the Mega Manetric. Uh, uh, not Mega Manetric. Just regular Manetric Geeks. Just kind of nice. Forces Travis to attach a DC to them to even use a Assault Laser attack. Even though Alex doesn't play Muscle Band, he plays Four Headringer, which kind of hurts his opponents if he can draw to him early. So we see an Ultra Ball from Alex is carding a Trubbish and a Garbodor. Get out of Mega Manetric. Just make it harder for Travis to knock out his uh, Megas. Or knock out his Manetrics. So I imagine he evolves to the Mega Manetric. <laughs> Don't see why not. Because still would do 110 damage and knock it out. Oh, so he's just going to do a Assault Laser for 60. Okay. Maybe he's just uh, saying, if, uh, Travis, if you put me to sleep with a Hypnotizing Laser, I'm going to Mega Evolve and save <coughs> save myself if I flip Tails. So I can see why he did it. Makes sense. But the question is, uh, what, what do you, if there's three DCs in this card, that Drifloom could take a knockout. Like I said, I think there's only two, but I could... <gasps> Oh no, there's actually three because the very first DCE. Oh my goodness, there's three in there. I'm not even sure there's three. Travis is double checked. So putting that on Manager X would actually help, would have saved him. Let's see. We'll find out together, kids, if there is three in the discard. I think there is, I think he discarded one off the toad. One of the Mega Manetric, and I think he discarded one early. I could be wrong, but I'm 99% sure I'm right now. So it's kind of bad on uh, <laughs> Alex Ball with not Mega Evolving. I mean, I saw why he did it, but I guess he just didn't check his discard pile to see if there's three DCs in there. Uh, <clears throat> like I said earlier, the Drifloom does 50 times as many special energies in the discard, which is 150 total, and then plus the Muscle Man add 20 more, so it does 170. 
Uh. So yeah, the Shadow Sword does knock it out. So yeah, there is three in the discard. I think Alex is just double checking. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is double checking. Yeah, the very first turn the Ultra Ball went away, and then he attached one of the Toad, later on attached one to the Manetric. Alright, so on Alex's turn, he he can turbo bolt this Driplin for knockout. Huh. Attach the lightning energy instead of hurts size of Toad. Maybe because he knows he's already gonna attach two from the Well not how can you how can he attack? There you go, Travis made a good sport. He took the let him take the energy back. Good job, Travis. No way to good job not real shocker real shocker him. <laughs> a chap saying you're being nice to me, I'll be nice to you, kind of thing. I mean, it's good, makes the game more enjoyable. It does seem like Travis is in the better position, kinda. So we'll see what happens. Uh, because he's gonna be terrible this drift one for knockout. Then Travis can send up the Manetric EX on the bench, knock out his Mega Manetric because it is a 110, and the 110 plus 120 is 230. So knocks it out. So we've seen an Ultra Ball from Alex. I imagine he wants to get another Mega Manetric. Or Manetric. Oh, he's going to get a Mewtwo. So maybe Alex's plan now is to power up a big Mewtwo and try to X-Ball all for the games. And we're off to see the Wizard once again. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. So we see a Tobro Bolt for 110. Put the two Lightnings on the Mewtwo. Like I said, probably be Mewtwo. Try to one-shot his Pokemon. So one prize goes to Alex. So right now it's... Three to four. Uh, I don't imagine Travis can put down another. Not, or he's not gonna put down a, a one prize attack roll again. So let's see what Travis does. I imagine Travis sends up the Manetric EX. Let's we'll see if he if Alex gets a DC next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this is the problem. If if Travis has another Lightning. That's three on the active Manetric EX, and for X and Mewtwo does twenty times as many energies as a play. So Mewtwo attaches another DCE. There'd be four on Mewtwo, three on the Manetric, which is seven total, one forty, plus a laser knockout. That's the problem right now that Travis is facing. But we'll see how it fans out. I know there's three DCs. We all know there's three DCs in this card, so he'll have to top deck the last one. So on the Travis turn, we see the lightning energy does go into the Manetric EX. The question is, does Travis have like an end? Something to disrupt Alex just a little bit. Let's see what happens. I see a laser in his hand. Not very useful right now. He's already one-shotting. Not one-shotting, but he's already knocking out this minute tricky X. Hmm. Let's see here. What what What's going to happen, kids? I also saw a Team Flare Grunt in Travis' hand, which is kind of uh, not really useful. So we're going to see an Assault Laser for 120 and knock out that. Here goes Size Toad. Sorry, there's a little earthquake going on in Murfreesboro, Tennessee right now. Alright. So see, see a laser in his hand. So he already has a laser. Now he's going to have to top, hit, the, hit the DC. And I see a Sycamore in his hand. Alright, so let's see what happens, guys. So Sycamore discards course. Does he hit the DC? I don't believe so. I feel like he would have slapped it down kind of fast. So another laser. Trying to put this Manetric asleep. Alright, so the Manetric is asleep now. So here we see an X-Ball for 140. Yeah. Alright, so he switched. Retreated the lightning, he retreated that Manetric, Lysandered the Toad, Lysand and then Lysandered it, and, and then, uh, Plasma, er, not Plasma, Hypnotastic Laser for knockout. So, those are pretty quick games. Uh, congrats on Travis for winning his first cities. Uh, kind of stinks that Alex didn't pull out the win from Mercy Pro, but a pretty, yeah, uh, it was a, it was a good game, at least. I think so. Driftworm did a lot of work that games. Uh, alright, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you like. I'll, post up more cities as I can.
I have three more left out of the five days. This is only day two. And have a good day. Uh, great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.